I'm back with some autumn motivation to help simplify your life for the upcoming fall season today on The Daily Connoisseur. Hello everyone, Jennifer here and welcome back. I'm normally on an extended break this time of year, but the wonderful Robin from Minimalist Home invited me to do this autumn motivation collab and I just couldn't say no. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing five tips on how you can prepare for fall and simplify your routines. And I invite you to check out the playlist. I will leave it linked down below and check out all the other amazing YouTubers who are also doing this collab. And hopefully we can all get inspired for autumn together. You really can use these tips for any seasonal transition so our friends in the southern hemisphere can also use these tips as well. Tip number one on how to transition and get ready for autumn is to declutter and put away your summer decor. Whether you have a lot of seasonal decor or not, I actually don't have very much seasonal decor. I only really decorate for Christmas seasonally, so I don't have any, you know, summery things necessarily that I have to put away. But this time of year, sometimes a few tweaks that we'll make are to bedding or to throw pillows and throw blankets if you want to switch those out and get ready for the fall season through those colors. Something I always do each season is change out our china cabinet and that's how you know the season is really on its way. So I plan to take out all of our spring Port Marion dishes and I'm going to be putting some fall dishes back in the cabinet. I actually found this incredible set at an estate sale and they have very fall vibes to them. So I look forward to styling the cabinet this year. But little small tweaks that you can make to the decor to signal that the fall season is coming is always welcome and it helps you get motivated. Tip number two is to prepare your fall wardrobe by putting summer away. Okay, if you're new to my channel and you're just finding me from this collab, I am the author of Lessons from Madame Chic and the Madame Chic series, which talks a lot about the 10 item capsule wardrobe. Now at the beginning of each season, what we do is with our intentional closets, we put away the last season. So I know we're in this strange transition time where it's not quite fall yet. It's still hot outside. So you might be wearing your summer clothes. I don't know about you though, but mentally I am already in fall. Like I'm really done with all of my summer clothes. So I'm already putting away the really summery things. I just don't feel like wearing them anymore and keeping out all of the autumnal colors like this uh, short sleeve sweater that I have here. So this is a good time to assess your wardrobe and go through it. Any of the summer items that you had hanging up that maybe you wore too much and they're looking a little worse for wear, it's time to retire them from your closet. Everything else that you want to come back next year, it's time to store it away. Make room for your fall clothing. You'll have to leave a few things up obviously as transitional pieces, but all of the obviously summer things that you no longer wish to wear, you can already start to put those away. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and hit the bell for notifications because I have a lot of fall 10 item wardrobe content coming out for you, including longer videos on wardrobe organization. So you're definitely going to want to check those out. Also, if you're looking for a regular outfit of the days and more in-depth wardrobe discussion, make sure to follow me on LTK. I'm on LTK now, so I'll leave the link down below. Follow me there and I have a lot of 10 item wardrobe content on LTK. Tip number three is to prepare some fall themed freezer meals. Now the fall season, even though it's cozy and we want it to be that way, it's often extremely busy as well with back to school, extracurricular activities for kids. Your work might be particularly busy this time of year. So I like to get a head start when I have some lingering summer days left and make some freezer meals for fall. I have a lot of freezer meal videos here on the channel and I have an upcoming breakfast casserole recipe I'm gonna be sharing with you as well. So make sure you're subscribed for that. A few recipes that always freeze really well and that are good for fall are shepherd's pie, chicken pot pie, spaghetti bolognese sauce, chilies, soups, anything that you can make in batches and freeze for later 
is going to be so welcome in the fall season. Tip number four is to keep using your planner. So are you still using your planner? Many people feel gung-ho about their planner at the beginning of the year and they use it every day in January and then it tapers off in February. And by the time you get to August and September, you're not even opening it. But I encourage you to keep using your planner and to make it a daily habit. I write out a to-do list for every single day of the week. I like to time block as well. And doing these things helps me to be efficient. And oddly enough, it also helps me relax more too because I'm not trying to store all of this important information in my head and I'm not constantly worried about forgetting it. So I really encourage you to sit down with your planner and start to plan the next month Write down everything you need to know right now, and then you can go back in as micro tasks each day, and at the end of the day, write down what you need to do for the next day. Because of course, you don't know that right now, looking at the whole month, you only know the big dates. So I want you to just keep it in a handy place. Make sure you continue to use your planner. Using a planner is one of the top reasons why I am so productive. And I can't even believe that I ever had a time in my life when I didn't use it. Like I didn't use a planner when I was in college. How did I do that <laughs> with all my classes and, and essays and finals? I don't know, but I somehow got through it. But anyway, you don't wanna fly by the seat of your pants this autumn. So make sure you use your planner. I will link my favorite planners down below. The final tip to get motivated for fall is to schedule in fall related treats in your planner. So this is gonna help you use your planner more too because it's not all doom and gloom and to-do lists. I would like you to schedule in fall related activities that you can look forward to. That's gonna help keep you motivated throughout the season. So it could be as big as a trip to the pumpkin patch or apple picking or maybe watching your favorite spooky movie <laughs> you know at the at the end of september or it could be as small as something that you can do at home like making yourself a pumpkin spice latte homemade or reading some of your favorite fall themed books i love to read walden this time of year and also i have a bunch of short stories ghost stories from Henry James or E.F. Benson. These are the type of things I like to read this time of year. So schedule that in your planner. And I'm telling you, you'll forget that you did this and you'll get to that day and you'll smile and you'll think, okay, you know what? Today I am going to make myself a pumpkin latte <laughs> or today I'm going to take 20 minutes to read a fall themed book that's going to make me feel cozy. I will be resuming my Seek Out the Arts series in September where we do a deep dive into art, music, and poetry, and I will have some fall-themed videos for you there, so that will also help in this department. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you check out the playlist down below because you can check out all of the other amazing YouTubers who have participated in this collab and get even more autumn motivation. Thanks for joining us here today. Keep calm and remain classy, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.